Hi there, this is Ms. Novakowski from My Home to Yours, and today's math project is an origami project, and we're going to learn how to make this bird. And this can be a flying bird, or it can be a swimming bird, like a goose or a duck. And you can use this bird after you've made it to create a story. It could be a character in your story. You could create a setting or a picture that you could glue it down to. Right? And this is how you make a bird. So starting with a square, turn it a little bit and then go from bottom corner up to top corner and make your diagonal fold, creating two triangles. Open it up and do your kite fold. So this outside corner into the center and then along the crease. So I've made another triangle here and then I do the same on this side, so it's symmetrical. Line it up against the middle, and then crease it. And there's my kite. Okay. I am going to flip it, and then I'm going to turn it so the point is up. And then I'm going to take this bottom point, and I'm going to fold it up. And I stop when I see those the other side of the paper coming through, and I'm going to line up across the bottom here. So I line up across the bottom, and I keep this these fold lines lined up as well. Okay. And then, this gets a little tricky, then I'm going to take this again and I'm going to fold it along here, but I'm actually going to pull this part out. So I'm going to take that tip here, and I'm going to fold it until this fold line matches up with this line of the bird. You can see on both sides there it's lining up. So I'm just, it's not creased yet, I'm just holding that point with my fingers and putting it down, making sure it's lined up and now I can crease it. So I crease this part and I crease this part. And this is the body and the wings of the bird. And so it can sit up like this so it can be a swimming bird. And then I can add a head. So I could do a simple fold, just taking the top here and folding it like that to make a bird. But I'm going to show you another fold as well. So I could also just open this up a little bit and tuck, tuck that in and bring these together to make the beak and then press there. And then you get an inside fold for the bird's Beak. Okay. And there's our bird. And it can fly or it can sit on the water. 